hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so from this particular video i'm going to start a new series for the upcoming gate exam this is something new which i'm planning and which i'm trying on the channel i hope you guys will like it this is called as gate smart question series now this series is intended to include those questions because if you see the gate paper uh, every year you will find out that at least one or two questions are there which are very smartly put up which are not that straightforward which require a lot of you know concept building two three concepts are involved and if you go with the regular trend you will end up doing that question wrong so the intent to bring up this series is to uh, like is to just compile those questions from the from the previous many years of gate exam and uh, like uh, that's what i'm going to do so i'll take one question at a time in this video because the frequency of this video i'm trying i'll try to include like i'll try to increase it more so the number of questions will be less uh, from this video I'm, I'm just going to take one question in this video but in the upcoming videos if you will suggest i'll take multiple question in a single video but yeah uh, frequency will be high so that means for the upcoming gate exam you will have quite a lot number of smart questions before that right uh, at the end of this video i'll also give you some questions so that you can also practice your own and you can comment down uh, like you can write down in the comment section below all right so this is part one of it and uh, this particular video is regarding this question from uh, gate 2017 exam this was a very good question because uh, it was like if you try to do it in the usual method you are going to end up doing it wrong right so the question was that the electronic ground state term for the chromium ion in crcn6 4 minus is now of course the concept which are used over here is for uh, like the term symbol concept and you are also going to use coordination chemistry in order to solve this question okay so you have options like 3f 3h uh, 3g and 5d now before going into that uh, let me tell you about the uh, different values which you get for different l values so the different l values give you different terms right so if you have 0 1 2 3 4 5 and like that or 6 in that case your l values are like s p d f g h and i right this is how we get now these are the different terms which we are going to get now let's look upon this question how to do it so if you see the complex which is cr cn64 minus if you solve this up you are going to get chromium in plus 2 oxidation state plus 2 oxidation state means this is chromium in that means it's a d4 system right now uh, considering the ligand over here which is a strong donor ligand we all know that this is going to form a uh, low spin complex right and uh, many people will do it in the usual method that means they are just going to do it according to valence bond theory they will just make the 5 d orbitals they will make it like plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 and minus 2 and they will try to pair up these four electrons something like this right and now if it if they try to do or they try to find out the 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 term for this for the ground state term for this in that case their overall l value is going to come up like 2 into 2 2 into plus 2 and plus 2 into plus 1 so that will come up 6 which is going to give them a term of i and since there is no unpaired electron so it is going to come 1i which is not there in the option so that means certainly this is not the correct way of doing it right the another way is they might consider this as a weak field ligand and they might uh, fill the electrons something like this 1 2 3 and 4 if they do it like this in that case their overall l value is going to come up around 2 and uh, that is going to give them a term as d and 4 unpaired electrons so their spin multiplicity is going to come up 5 now i guess you all know how to find out spin multiplicity basically a spin multiplicity uh, is given by a formula of 2s plus 1 but you can also do it like n plus 1 which i usually do n is the number of unpaired electrons right so since there was no unpaired electrons so 0 plus 1 gave us 1 for this and here we have 4 unpaired electrons so 4 plus 1 gave us 5 here right now of course 5d is there in the option but that's not the correct answer okay so that means these are the two ways which we are aware about and these are giving us incorrect answer or the option which we are not even having in the options so which is the correct way so let's look upon the question once again it says that the ground state term symbol for chromium ion in this particular complex now see understand that they are not only asking about the chromium ion but they are also giving you a complex over here and since they have given you a complex which is octahedral in geometry 
that means there should be something related to coordination chemistry which we are going to use in this that means there will be a crystal field splitting in it and then you are going to fill the electron so what exactly it is going to happen that chromium in plus 2 which is going to have a low spin complex which is basically a d4 system in the octahedral field it is going to split up in this particular way that means we are going to have t2g orbitals we are going to have eg orbitals and now we will fill these four electrons over here and since in the low spin state you are going to fill them like one two and three uh, and then the fourth electron is again going to be filled up over here now how to write, write down the uh, l values okay so for that your l values start like this so plus two uh, plus one zero then minus uh, one and minus two okay this is how the l values are there in case if you are not aware about it please note it down now considering all these things if you calculate the overall l value that is going to become 2 into plus 2 and plus 1 and plus 0 that is going to give you overall 5 so 5 is your l value which is going to give you a term of h so that means you are going to get h as the term and since we have two unpaired electrons so n plus 1 that is two unpaired electron plus 1 is going to give you a spin multiplicity of 3 your correct answer comes out to be option number b which is 3h now this was a question which i wanted to discuss in this video because uh, every year whenever i teach coordination chemistry i take this example as one of the question it's not a usual method or it's not the usual way how you solve this question so there is a certainly a different way of approaching it and that's why i've included in this as i said initially itself that i am going to give you uh, like uh, i'm going to give you some question as a homework so this particular question as is a homework to you just in the same way we have this question which says that find the ground state term of the cobalt ion in this particular complex where we have coh 6 plus 3 okay so the oxidation state is plus 3 do let me know in the comment section that what uh, option did you got or basically what is the uh, the term ground state term which you have got for this i am not giving you the options over here so consider it as a as a as assignment okay and in the next video when i will upload the second part of this particular a uh, smart uh, gate smart question series in that video i will uh, tell you the correct answer for this so that's it for this particular video thank you so much for watching it and i hope you guys have learned something if you have any other suggestion because i'm trying this for the first time um i'm not sure if if there is something which you want from me in this video or if you like the concept if you want something to be improved all your suggestions are welcome and you can drop down all of them in the comment section below so that's it from my side Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye bye. Hey guys, so I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas, in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much